Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel. I'm here to provide insight and guidance for Libra for the month of June 2019. This is going to of course apply to your sun, moon or rising. If you have Libra and other parts of your birth chart, this reading could resonate. But of course, you need to know uh, what influences you have in your birth chart. Um, if this reading doesn't resonate, uh, check out my other readings that I have done. Um, but of course, you need to really know what influences you have in your birth chart to really um, see how it can resonate. But overall, I just ask Spirit to meet you where you're at at this time. I'm hoping uh, to give you insight, guidance, as well as a peace of mind. Um, so, you know, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So let's get started. So this is my universal healing spread here. So the first card is going uh, to be the message from the universe. So Libra, what does the universe want you to know? Wow, so we have the five of Athens. So you could be dealing with a air sign person. Uh, Libra, uh, Aquarius, or Gemini. I don't know why I'm having a hard time getting the word out. <laughs> of course, this could be you. Okay, this is my Venus and Aquarius card. So uh, Libra, you could have Venus and Aquarius, or the person you're dealing with could have this. So um, the universe wants you... To, I'm hearing wants you to be fair okay they, they really want you to be fair um, for some of you Libras not all of you um, there may be an energy of hurting others and not really um, caring okay so really watch out how you're communicating with others also um, be willing to make peace if someone is wanting to offer you peace and they're wanting to uh, just bury the hatchet um, it's a call for you to be receptive to that you know really be receptive of that um, don't let your pride get in the way okay try your best not to let your pride get in the way or it can go the other way around you know um, really no actually I don't see it going the other way around I just see this as you so um, just really watch out um, how you're communicating with other people also communicating with yourself as well so if you have thoughts feeling as though people are um, after you they're trying to um, uh, seek your demise all that even if that's really the case and you're seeing it for how it is they're really trying to be um, destructive towards you um, instead of um, having the fear within your mind and letting it go around and around and about uh, be willing to take action you know this could be in a work environment this could be um, you know in a friendship a relationship whatever um, instead of thinking that you know um, really open up the lines of communication I mean if you're dealing with someone and you're feeling as though that they're out to get you or they're not really being honest or whatnot um, really open up the lines of communication but overall I really see this as being receptive um, if, if someone's wanting to make peace okay and trying your best not to be um, overly aggressive and trying to um, win 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 all the time okay um, and it's hard when you have goals you want to win 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 but you can go about it in a humble type way okay um, for some of you also it, there's it, it doesn't have to be a fight all the time okay so try your best not to be in the energy of fight 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 all the time I'm right you're wrong type thing okay next card um, I see here is how to bring about healing and balance so Libra how can you bring about healing and balance <gasps> Ooh, we have the Ace of Chalice. Ace of Chalice here. Okay. So it could be dealing with a water sign person. You could have water in your chart, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. So it's going to be a call for you to release any emotions that you um, have suppressed within you. Um, because I see the cup here. And the cup is overflowing, okay? So there's a call for you to release any type of emotions that you are suppressing. Also, don't be afraid to um, stand up. I don't want to say stand up to your emotions, but um, if you're going through emotional currents and it's like, it's, it's like, 
It feels like you're drowning. It's a call for you to tap into the salmon energy and swim upstream. Swim against the current. Don't get drowned out and carried with the current, okay? If that makes sense. You could also be dealing with a Pisces because we have the little fish here, okay? So you could be dealing with the Pisces. Okay, so for some of you, maybe it may be a call for you to express how you feel to a Pisces. Be open how you how you are um, feeling. If it's not to a Pisces, it can just be to a person that you uh, care about. Just express the emotions. Don't suppress it. Okay, do not suppress it. Um, I see the sun here, so there's a lot of warmth here. I feel like there's a lot of warmth. Um, so um, for some of you, it's. It's a call to be receptive to that energy. Be really receptive to that energy. For some of you, could be dealing with the Leo. So it's going to be a call for you to be, you know, a little bit receptive to this Leo person. Okay? Um, that's going to bring you a sense of healing and a sense of balance. Okay? Um, but whatever the case is, the emotions need to be expressed. Okay? For, for you, Lib Libra. You definitely have to express these emotions. Um... Don't let it, don't be, don't be overly um, suppressive with your emotions, okay? Your emotions have to go somewhere. It has to flow, okay? Um, also, for some of you, be receptive to love, okay? And that's definitely going to um, bring about healing and balance. Okay, the next card is blocks. Okay, so what blocks do you need to address from within, Libra? What blocks do you need to address from within? Wow, so we have the Eight of Wands. You could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries, but the Eight of Wands is my uh, Mercury and Sagittarius, so you could be communicating with the Sagittarius. Okay, and maybe a Sagittarius is making you feel blocked or you're making the Sagittarius feel blocked. I don't know, <laughs> but this is about you. So I feel like in order to get rid of these blocks, Libra, you have to have a bit more of organization into in your life. Um, also, it's going to be a call for you to lay things out on the table. So however you are feeling, um, you have to lay it out on the table. But before you lay it out on the table, Really be clear on what you are going to be addressing so it doesn't come off as like scattered energy or confused. Um, also, for some of you, it's a call for you to get out into nature again. Okay, so get out into nature. Um, be one with the nature spirits and um, take the opportunity to really ground yourself. You know, um, sometimes when life is just going really crazy and we're just constantly flying and traveling and just whatever we could be doing so much stuff in our life and we forget to just take a moment to breathe we we, we forget to have that downtime for ourselves so in, in return it creates blocks so it's a call for you libra to um really um take the time to um just ground yourself also focus on directing your energy don't direct your energy on things that don't matter or don't direct your energy on uh, to things uh, towards things that is going to leave you feeling emotionally uh, suppressed, okay? Uh, direct your energy on something or towards something that's going to give you a sense of outlet, that's going to make you feel as though you are in your element, that's going to uh, make you feel as though you are free, that you, you know? So don't, don't direct your energy towards something that's going to just leave you feeling stagnant and just stuffy, okay? Because I, I get the, um, I get this feeling of like, feeling stuffy, okay, just feeling stuffy, and for some of you, you could have allergies, <laughs> so you're like, shit, I'm not going out in nature, I'll get allergies, but, you know, there's, you can go hiking, you can do anything, you don't have to be around a whole bunch of trees or whatever, but, or plants that give you allergies, but it's a call for you to really direct your energy so you don't have a sense of blockages within yourself, direct your energy towards healing, okay, um, for some of you, you could have a lot of nervous energy and therefore it leaves you feeling blocked, it leaves you feeling stagnant. So maybe a call for you to really um, take a look into herbal medicines, natural medicines, because this woman here is, she has a knife and she has some wands and she has some um, freshly cut herbs. So for some of you, maybe a call for you to see a naturopath, okay, or look into um, healing yourself with herbs so you don't have a lot of that anxiety or that scattered type energy, okay? Um, what else am I seeing here? 
But yeah, I feel like your spirit, your spirit is feeling very blocked. So there's a need for some of you, there's a need for you to really um, uh, find out ways um, to let to to have an outlet, an emotional outlet. So find ways to have an emotional outlet. OK, because I really feel like um, like stuffy. Like feeling stuffy and for some of you um, you could be overcoming this block you know you could have laid everything out on the table and you'd started directing your energy towards what matters what's going to give you a peace of mind what's going to give you serenity so good job okay so next card is going to be how to build a strong foundation or maintain a strong foundation Wow so nature card here and the traditional tarot deck it's the devil card okay so Libra, in order for you to maintain or even build a strong foundation, you have to find out how you are being trapped. What's keeping you trapped, okay? Is it money? Is it a toxic relationship? Is it your own fears? Is it self-sabotaging behaviors or thoughts? Is it addiction, substance addiction, addiction to people, places, and things, whatever. It could really be anything, but it's something that's keeping you trapped, okay? For some of you, you have freed yourself from this trap, okay? So for some of you, you definitely have. In order to maintain your foundation or in order to build a, a strong foundation, you had to give something up. You had to free yourself, okay? Um, this is also representing a Capricorn. So for some of you, um, or if it's not a Capricorn, it's someone with like devilish type energy, someone with a trapping type energy. For some of you, you had to let this person go. So good for you. I'm sure it was very hard, but you had to let this person go. Okay. But really, it, this, it could really mean anything. Like I said, it could be addictions. It could be fears, all of that. Everything that I mentioned before, it can, it can represent that. So whatever it is, you have to free yourself from it. You have to um, get yourself out of this trap, okay, in order to build a strong foundation or maintain a strong foundation. And it's going to be hard. It's definitely going to be hard, okay? And if you need help, ask for help, okay? Don't be afraid to ask for the help, okay? Because at the end of the day, our spirit is meant to be free. We're not meant to be trapped by our circumstance and and by our our fearful thoughts okay we're not meant to to be in that vibration but i'm realistic to understand and know that it happens but we have to be the one to open that bear trap we have to be the ones to free ourselves now for some of you okay um i'm here in jail so for some of you if you've been in and out of jail it's a call to really take a look at that and change whatever patterns you have okay whatever patterns you have to keep yourself out of jail or out of prison that's for some of you some of you might be like what <laughs> yeah, but that's for some of you i mean it's it's real also um <clears throat> for some of you who are in a relationship with someone in and out of jail you know you may have to be done with this person because they choose to not stay out of jail okay but for others, you could be learning your lesson and saying, you know what, no more. In order for me to get back on my feet and do what's right, I'm not going to be setting myself up. I'm not going to be trapping myself with the bad, um, the bad decisions that I make, okay? So really can go anywhere, any, anyway, but it's a call to really free yourself, okay? So you can be able to enjoy life the way you're supposed to. So the next card is going to be necessary changes for your soul growth. Wow, so the Ace of Wands here, necessary changes. Could be dealing with the Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. This was in the Aries reading. So Libra, you could be dealing with an Aries. Also could be dealing with the Pisces as well too, because I saw the Eight of Wands in that reading too. But Okay, so necessary changes that need to be made. Okay, so this card is a very um, powerful card. It's um, like action-oriented. It's like a burst of energy. It's like life force energy. So um, Libra, it's a call for you to really take a look at things very clearly and from a bird-eyes view because we have a bird here and see how you have been limiting, excuse me, <clears throat> limiting yourself, okay? 
How have you been limiting yourself? It could be in regards to limited beliefs or just like self-sabotaging um, things that you do. Okay. Um, really could be anything, but just see how you are limiting yourself or how other people may be trying to limit you and break free from that. Okay. I'm hearing also, it's like, follow your own, follow your own beat, follow the own beat of your drum. Okay. So for some of you, you could have been, you know, in a controlling situation, um, where people were suppressing you, trying to control you. And you're just like, you know what? No more. I'm, t I'm doing things for myself. And so you may have taken this necessary step to break free. If you haven't done that yet, this is just encouragement for you to break free and find that inspiration in your, back in your life again. Find that passion back in, back in your life again. For others of you, um, it, for some of you, because this Ace of Wands can represent, you know, passion and the phallic male, <laughs> male genitals, whatever. But for some of you, you may try, need to, um, you may desire to have a more intimate relationship with your partner. Maybe there's a block here. There's there's a block here. There's no intimacy in the relationship. So therefore, it leaves things feeling very dull. You feel more um, aggressive. You feel more um, on edge. You want to fight all the time. You know, if it's not you wanting to fight all the time, it could be your partner that's wanting to fight all the time. And you guys are not seeing eye to eye because there's a lack of intimacy in the relationship. So that has to be addressed and that has to be uh, looked at very carefully as well. Okay, that may uh, be the necessary changes that needs to be made for this for some of you. Okay, to have more intimacy. Can we talk? To have more intimacy and in your relationship. <clears throat> okay, so you can um, feel as though you um, have that fire spark within your relationship again. You know, so by having that intimacy, it can definitely change things for the better. You know. So it's really a cough to look at that if some of you are dealing with intimacy issues in your relationship. But <clears throat> I definitely see that there's def there's a need for you to break free. There's a need for you to have a sense of passion in your life again. Um, you may have just lost this passion because of everything that has been going on with you. And since you've lost this passion, it leaves you feeling as though stuck, you know, even aggressive or moody. And we don't have time for that. You know, life is not about that. Life is about being happy and um, enjoying life and just um, just just thriving. That's what it's all about. And this is really a thriving, a thriving card here. OK, so for some of you, um, it's going to be a call for you to break free and find that spark of passion and uh, vitality in your life again. OK, only you can do it. Um, and if you need help, ask for help. Okay, so the next card is going to be the sacrifice. So what do you need to sacrifice for your soul growth? Wow, so King of Chalices, so uh, Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So, um, so for some of you, you may need to get rid of a Water Sign person. <laughs> Not just get rid of them or just basically just let them go. Okay, for some of you, this person could have um, some overindulgence issues. Um, overindulgence with, I mean, obviously food, drinking. Um, <clears throat> they could just really be toxic. Um, like a toxic person. Okay, if this is not the case. Okay. This could just represent that you need to be a bit more open, okay? You could also have these issues. You could be overindulgent in, in substance and, um, you know, shopping. It could really be anything. It's an overindulgence in something. If this is not the other person, this could represent you. So it's a call for you to kind of, uh, to, to really take a look at um, your actions and um, <clears throat> your overindulgent vibes <laughs> take a look at that and really address them um because it's, it's i see that for some of you it's no longer serving you or the relationship okay so whatever you've been indulging in i mean this could just simply just mean it doesn't have to be substance it could just simply mean like you know buying things like shopaholic type energy just an excess somebody that does things in an excess okay this could represent you. So you could be doing a lot of things in excess or the other person you're dealing with. And for some of you, it could be just be a call for you to let this person go. 
okay or for you to walk away from this person but it's not for all of you okay so let's get back to it i want to get off track um <laughs> It's also a call for you to be more receptive to others, okay? So receptive to others, it could be friendships, relationships, be a bit more receptive. If you've been closed off and you've been blocking off your emotions, not expressing how you truly feel, it's really a call for you to um, really change that around and be a bit more receptive. Like I said before, if you can't do it on your own, seek out help. You know, you can go to a therapist, you can go to someone that you trust that's not going to judge you and be able to express what it is that you're feeling so you're not harboring all of these emotions, okay? Um, for some of you, you may have went through a loss and you're holding on to it. So it could have been a loss of a loved one or a relationship, whatever, and you're harboring a lot of it. And so um, it's a call for you to really... Um, like I said before, release that, okay? And be willing to receive, um, you know, healing as well because the chalice is representing, of course, water signs, but it's receiving, it's like a receiving energy. So be, be willing to receive healing, be willing to receive um, wisdom as well, okay, for some of you. But I'm seeing overall as far as the sacrifice, it's just sacrificing the way you respond emotionally, to something okay sometimes when things hit the fan or you know things tend to go south um, for some people they tend to medicate themselves so that's how they respond emotionally okay or um, if they're depressed or not happy they just self medicate okay so that's not really responding um, in, a, in a good way in regards to your emotions so it's going to be a call for you to figure out some coping skills as well for some of you Okay, or your partner, if that's if 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 that's the case. Okay. Um, what else am I seeing? And and also enjoying life. You know, um, so some of you may be very serious. You may have a lot going on in your life, and you don't have time for fun. You don't have time to, um, you know, enjoy life. And that's no excuse. You know, yes, we have responsibilities, but it does not mean that we can't do something nice for ourselves or we can't enjoy life. So for some of you, it's just a call for you to uh, enjoy life, okay? Start enjoying life more and be open to love. For some of you, you do not want, you, you kind of, um, you kind of have an idea of what you want. Like you want a specific type of person, a specific type of man, like very picky. So it's a call for you to get out of that vibration and not be so picky. I'm not saying go with somebody that, you know, you're completely unattractive, to, attracted to, but I'm just saying like, try your hardest not to be so judgmental and picky in regards to the type of lover you're looking for, type of partner you're looking for. Okay. Um, be willing to get to know the person because it's really about the heart. It's the heart overrules everything. Okay. You know, there's women who go, who have been with men for many years or been married to a man for many years and the man was never or their husband was never their type but it was their heart that made them fall in love with them you know so looks are not everything okay so next card i have here is what needs okay what needs to be healed emotionally mentally and spiritually wow so we have harvest it doesn't look like healing needs to take place here Okay, so Libra, I feel like for some of you, um, this is really a positive card. Um, so what needs to be healed? So it could be a relationship that needs to be healed, Libra, a relationship, um, you know, Everything that you've created with this person, it could be the household that needs to be healed as well. Um, but I'm seeing that Libra, uh, for some of you, your life is very fruitful with this person, but there seems to be something missing. There's an energy of something missing, okay? And so instead of focusing on something that's missing, um, it's really important to really be thankful for all that you do have instead of um, being in a vibration of lack and and not having enough okay um, for some of you um, 
you could have an issue with with um, you know maintaining the household okay and so therefore and what that means is maybe there's issues with the finances okay maybe there's a concern or fear surrounding finances okay so instead of having that fear um, it's a call for you to strategize a bit more and you know cut out things that no longer serve you or not necessarily serve you but don't serve your bank account <laughs> so if you you know things have changed with your finances and you're having to cut back on you know um, expenses don't be afraid to do that in order to um, in, or, in order to um, be able to pay your bills you have to cut some things off you have to uh, let go of certain things in order for you to um, be able to save money and not to live outside of your means so it's going to be a call for some of you to just really strategize and once you're able to strategize and this could be just a couple or like a relationship once you guys are able to communicate and strategize um, in regards to your finances, I feel like there's going to be a sense of healing emotionally, mentally, and spiritually for you guys. Um, I'm seeing for some of you there may be some arguments as well. So instead of arguing, try to figure out how you can strategize and come about um, in order to find a solution. I don't know why I'm lost for words. Um, but yeah, in order for there to be healing, there has to be a solution. So really just communicate with each other. Really communicate with each other. Um, for some of you, Libra, you could be dealing with someone who has a drinking problem. Okay. Or, you, or it could be you. Okay. So maybe a call for you instead of just an overindulging. Um, to really, I mean, instead of overindulging, I mean, it's just going to be a call for you to really uh, take a look at why you're doing it in the first place. I mean, for many of you or for the person you're dealing with, they could be dealing with a depression, some type of depression, hallucinations, things like that. Okay. People are probably like, what the hell is she talking about? This is what I'm seeing, guys. <laughs> this is what I'm seeing. Okay. So the household needs to be healed, basically, and um, the lines of communication have to be open in order to welcome in um, healing emotionally, mentally, and spiritually, okay? If you're not dealing with anyone, it's just a call to take a look at yourself, okay? To really take a look at yourself and to see what decisions you need to make in order to welcome this healing into your life, okay? It's all trial and error, for sure. Okay. Okay, so last card is what do you what will you what what will you expect after healing takes place? Ah, I'm like fuck, I'm hooked on phonics. Okay, wow, so page of chalice. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. So once healing takes place, you can rest assured that you'll be able to express yourself um, more emotionally, okay? And it's like you're gonna be able to have control um, over your life. That's what I'm seeing as well. Um, she has paint here, like she's getting ready to paint. So you're gonna have the opportunity to paint your own picture, okay? And what that means, you could paint the type of life that you want, okay? You're gonna be able to manifest exactly what it is that you want because you're gonna have that vision. Um, what else am I seeing? For some of you, it could represent a child. Okay, so this could be your child as well. Um, your child could be a, a, of a cancer sign or um, Scorpio or Pisces. So I see here, once this healing takes place, um, your child will be much more happier as well. So Libra, if you have a child, you'll notice a change in your child. They'll be a bit more happier, a bit more receptive. Just um, there's going to be a sense of joy, um, a sense of joy that's, that I'm seeing. OK, um, but if it's not a child, it's just that you're going to be able to express yourself more. You're going to be more lighthearted, more, um, more nurturing and sweet. OK. 
um, you're going to be more receptive as well with your emotions. So if you're going through uh, a specific situation and your emotions are affected by it, it can leave you feeling down. I feel like you're going to really see it for what it is and then be able to move, move past it as well. Uh, for some of you, if you're resistant towards this change, it's just going to leave you feeling blocked because we have this dam, this little, this little beaver. We have this little beaver here and on the rock over here and he is already working on building a dam. And what does a dam do? A dam like blocks the water from, from coming through. Okay. So if you're resistant towards um, healing and making the necessary changes, you can rest assured that you're going to have blocked emotions. And for some of you, you can go back to, you know, drinking and she's holding a cup here. It's like, the, the harvest card was holding a cup. This person's holding a cup, you know. So for some of you, it's just going to be a call for you to really try your best not to suppress these emotions. Uh, move towards healing, okay? Move towards healing. So you can experience the love in your life. So you can be um, receptive of it as well, okay? Um, what else am I seeing here? Ugh. Yeah, so that, I think that's what I'm seeing here. I think that's about it. I'm not getting anything else. I feel like this is a, a childlike energy, though. It's like... Because Page of Chalices is all about <clears throat> messages as well. So that's what I see. Um, and I'm also seeing um, Libra, once healing takes place, you're going to be able to express yourself creatively. So you're going to express yourself in a creative way. Okay, which is wonderful. So it's like finding that outlet. You end up finding that outlet. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Okay. So um, let's kiss the reading. Let's find out what the divine message is for Libra. <gasps> teacher. So teacher. Shedekite. And I love this crystal. I actually have this crystal. Um, beautiful, beautiful card. So... Um, so what I'm seeing here is that, um, Libra, your ancestors of love and light are guiding you along the way. They're trying to teach you some type of lesson. And it's really important that you be receptive to that. Okay. Um, because, I mean, we have the Ace of Chalices here and, and the cup cards here. They're all about receptivity. So, um, and then the blue border represents the throat chakra, okay? So, um, it's being receptive. The messages are are being delivered to you, but for some of you, you're not, he you're not heeding the call. You're not being receptive, okay? Um, but others of you, you are being receptive. You are heeding the call. You are making the necessary changes that you need to, okay? Um, also, for some of you, you could be a teacher, and you could be teaching people, but very dogmatic about it. That's for some of you. So in order to be a teacher, you have to be willing to learn as well. No one is perfect, okay? And it's really important for a teacher a teacher to understand that, okay? But I really see that um, Spirit is definitely trying to teach you a lesson at this time. Um, teach you a lesson that's going to help you grow on all levels. And most importantly, spiritually and emotionally. Because we had a lot of cup cards and we have we have the um, ace of wands which is like my spirit spirit card okay um wands are like this the suit of fire but they represent spirit for me okay so emotionally and spiritually they're trying to teach you something okay and i feel like once you're able to change your mind the thoughts that you have, the thoughts that you are keeping in your mind, I feel like the emotions and the spirit, your emotions and spirit, spirit will transform, okay? But I definitely see that spirit is definitely trying to teach you a lesson at this time, and they're really wanting you to be receptive to the lesson, okay? So when you go through life and go through different experiences, you know how to handle it. You know how to deal with it, 
okay so when life tends to get crazy and wild we tend to forget about our well-being and you know we get depressed and stressed out and so I decided to pull a card for you guys um, it's my Archangel Raphael um, healing Oracle deck so let's take a look okay turn it around change physicians Wow okay change physicians and we're just kind of talking about that with the eight of wands you know so if you're having like anxiety or anything like that you know issues with your um, emotions whatever the case may be it's gonna maybe a call for you to change physicians so um, or seek out a naturopath doctor so it says dear Archangel Raphael Thank you for leading me to the best healer for this situation. Amen. And so the healer that you're going to be um, um, connecting with or should connect with should be a teacher. Someone that knows their stuff. Okay. Just don't go and pick anyone. Okay. So it's really important. So um, you're being encouraged, Libra, to change your physicians, okay? Get a second opinion. If you've been going through some difficulty health-wise, maybe mental health, emotional health, um, it's a call for you to change physicians. If you have been seeing a, a physician and things haven't really been um, lining up, if they have been telling you things that don't really make any sense, pretending to be the teacher, <laughs> then it may be a call for you to change physicians and maybe go the natural route, okay? Um, you know, God puts um, has put herbs here for us to heal ourselves with. So it could be a call for you to seek out a, a naturopath, someone that works with natural medicines to help heal the emotions and um, the mind as well, okay? So um, I don't see anything else. Um, also, this physician could be in regards to your child, okay? So for some of you, um, if it's not you seeking out um, help medically, it may be a call for you to um, um, seek out help medically in regards to your child, okay? So if you have their, if you ha they have a physician, the physician's not really meeting your child's needs, it may be a call for you to just change physicians, okay? Uh, but be willing to learn as well. Be willing to learn as well. Do your research as well. Um, if you want to be a teacher, like I said, you have to be willing to learn. Okay. <laughs> so that's going to conclude the reading for Libra. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I didn't lose anyone. But um, if you would like to book a reading with me, feel free to send me an email. My email, if it's not clear here, it'll, it'll be in the description box below. Please give me a like, share, and subscribe. Okay. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and God bless.